Matt, first of all, uh, tell me your name and what you do for Trimble. My name is Matt Hess, H-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. I am the business sales segment manager for Sun Navigation for the autopilot segment. Well, we're here at Sunbelt Ag Expo, and I understand that Trimble is the official GPS sponsor for Expo this year. What I'd like to do is have you just tell me a little bit about what's new from Trimble and what we see on display out here. And obviously, we're in a very working environment at, as we speak. Yeah, absolutely. The, the Sunbelt Ag Expo, what's unique about it is it's a, it's a working operation. So being the official Trimble uh, GPS provider, uh, the tractors and equipment that are ran on this showgrounds use our technology. But the reason they go with our technology, obviously, is Trimble's been providing um, the technology they're looking for, which is guidance solutions, um, rubber rate solutions, uh, planter solutions, whatever it may be. So what we have here, what we're really showcasing, obviously, is the whole integration of the system. Uh, it all really starts with the Trimble FMX integrated display. What that display provides is the ability for a user to go from level one to level five, if you want to, if you want to call it that. Level one could be simple guidance solutions. Level five could be integrating guidance with the tractor, with the implement. It could be taking it to the uh, true application control, which is variable rate systems. Uh, the, whole, the whole thing comes together. So what's key for us here is the integrated display, the FMX, what it allows us to do is number one is provide a guidance solution with, with sub-inch accuracy. That system has two built-in GPS receivers so it allows a, an end user to easily add something else to it to get more efficiencies. One efficiency we have is we have our true guide passive from the steering system. What we have happening with that is you have a GPS on the tractor, plus we have a GPS on the implement. And what's happening is we're, we're taking the accuracies from the tractor and moving it back to the implement where it needs to happen. And that is where they're looking for where the seat placement is, um, for strip tail uh, applications as well. Another level of accuracy that we do is we take is our true tracker system, which is actually having a guidance system on the tractor. Independently, we put a guidance system on the implement. Mm -hmm. The tractor steers itself, the implement steers itself, again, providing and putting the implement where it needs to be. So give us a, a little rundown on what uh, people coming out here to the show are gonna see when they get out here in the field. So what we're seeing at the show today is, is uh, going with that integration, we have uh, another level of integration which is the field level application. The field level application is using GPS to provide um, land leveling operations using the exact same display they use for their guidance system uh, as well as uh, other pieces of their operation. We also have the another land leveling piece which is using a 2D laser system. Um, the next level of what we have is we're showing is, is new for us is uh, true guide passive implement steering. So this particular system here with the case tractor with the case implement, as you can see there's an antenna on the implement so it is telling the tractor where it is and the tractor then moves left or right of the line to make sure that the implement is where it needs to be. The next level we have across the way is we have our true tracker system. As you see on the, on the John Deere tractor and the case tractor both of those have autopilots in them, but they also have steerable um, implements on them as well. And it's hard to see, but really there's a three-point application over that we have is and it's steering, it's the three-point. And on the case tractor, we have coulters that are actually physically moving the implement independent of the tractor. So out here on the grounds, you are um, having people be able to get on the equipment and, and run up and down the field to do everything from uh, leveling the ground to digging uh, trenches or or maybe uh, uh, wanting to plant some seeds for example. Yes and, and Trimble um, understands and the reason we are here is to really show how we can drive better efficiencies for today's economy. Today's economy it is very tough but there are ways that we can do things better and, that, and those ways are saving inputs. How do we do that? Well we take things that probably aren't humanly possible to do, but we bring that into a machine that can do it for us and using computers, um, using control systems, um, and driving some of those technologies. A lot of the guys are going to strip till applications. Uh, they want to have their seed and fertilizer right back on where, those, uh, where the strip tills are, and that technology is what's delivering 
some efficiencies uh, upwards into depending on what you're what you're looking at but you can talk in the corn and the bushels per acre some are seeing 20 bushel plus acre increase because of that uh, that application the next obviously step is we want them to see is that we have a lot of water issues water issues you get areas that drowned out that hurts the crop we need to get the water away when you have a big rain as fast as we can so the crops can, can survive and produce what they need so then we have our field level application to help manage those now whether it's a surface drainage or whether we're using a tile machine to put underground tile to help that water drain away from the field and that whole system works together so that the user has one system doesn't have to have all different displays happening takes it to the next level. All right, well, thank you very much, Matt, for uh, talking to me out here at Sunbelt Ag Expo at uh, Out in the Field demonstrations on a beautiful, another beautiful day. We've had great weather here, so again, I appreciate it. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.